Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is Season of the Dawning and with it we got some weapons like the Stay Frosty Pulse Rifle that we're covering in this video. So let's dive into it right away. What barrels, what perks to go for, what I think is going to work on this Pulse Rifle. First up is the barrels. I got full bore. The extra range is very, very nice when using inside a Crucible. You're always constantly hitting targets and I think even without that extra range, the weapon just feels quite sticky. It feels good to shoot. I think the best barrel here is going to be arrowhead break as it's going to boost your recoil direction by a bunch it's sitting at 55 which is not the greatest but it ends on a five so that means your recoil is going to be somewhat vertical and that should help a lot when getting into gunfights next up i recommend using high caliber rounds that's the one that i want because i get extra flinch on opponents now in the first column things are a little bit complicated here pv wise i don't really see anything that i want other than thresh uh crucible wise though we got some decent options i think tunnel vision is fine moving target is decent and encore now that it got recently buffed is not a bad option whatsoever personally i think i'm gonna go with tunnel vision so i can get that extra target acquisition i believe that is gonna make the pulse rifle feel really sticky and good inside of a uh, pvp so next up we got desperado as a 450 lightweight frame this is the first weapon to get desperado on it and a lot of us kind of get hyped up when we see desperado to drop on like a new archetype but after using it i have to say uh, it's kind of a gimmick it shoots way too fast inside a pvp you can't really control your aim too well and i think it would benefit a lot more from kill clips so keep that in mind now when it comes to pv if you want to use full auto mod and just kind of just slay ads as fast as possible then you would enjoy Desperado, but you might want Kill Clip as well because that bonus damage will help you mow down major targets, you know, some of the more beefier type of adds. Now, another perk that I like here is either Headstone or Golden Tricorn, as it will benefit from the Dawning Surprise Origin trait. Now, this one was a little bit weird when I first read it. I thought it was just going to give me gift boxes like the consumables, but it actually works as a mini Wellspring perk. So in Crucible, you're going to have to slay a couple people, which is not really like that ideal. I think the Amalon flow dynamics will be much, much better. You get more reload speed and the better stability, which is what you want on a pulse rifle like this. So this mod, the uh, or Dawning Surprise, is going to be a lot more beneficial in PvE. It seemed like if I kill like four thralls or something like that, I would get like a little Dawning gift to drop. And then after that, it's going to behave like a mini Wellspring. You'll get a little bit of a boost to your abilities, whether it's your grenade, melee, and barricade, they all count. So that's kind of nice. More of a PvE perk in my opinion. It also states that defeated powerful targets count as more than one. So keep that in mind. For the mods, I tried using Counterbalance Stock to try to boost it up to 70, but it was not worth it. So I wouldn't use that. And then I would just rather use target adjuster as it will help the pulse rifle feel a lot more sticky. Anyways, I'm gonna put some full gameplay, you know, just so you can see my reaction to shooting it and how it behaves and some additional thoughts on the weapon's performance inside a crucible. I hope you enjoy. And if you did, drop me a like to support the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. I wanna see like if I could just, you know, insta melt somebody with Desperado. It'll be tough to get like a kill and then be healthy enough to find a next target and then just shoot Desperado at them. That's my goal. I just want to see like the pain I inflict Enemy on them with the freaking Desperado. Zone B captured. You're getting pushed already? Oh. No, I got double teamed. Ah, dude, that time just got insta deleted though. If I can get them at like a medium to long range, I can definitely take advantage of this Barado effectively. Enemy claimed zone A. Enemy has advantage. No, Driss. Sir Demetrius. Look at that range. Ooh, I actually outgunned the pulse rifle with Desperado. I like this pulse rifle a lot. I have to say though, the other pulse rifles, like the aggressive frames, they just hit really hard, so. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fusion rifle. Ah, see, I can't just beat that. It hits so hard. The flinch is so strong with those type of weapons that I find it almost like impossible to properly keep hitting my shots. Zone advantage is yours. Okay, well, this is pretty much 
a no push zone. Double down. Nice, grab this for auto proc. That barricade is gone, dude. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Ah, oh, those pulse one. rifles, dude. Ah, oh, it's so tough to beat. Oh, there's 50 of them there. No, I couldn't survive. See if I can get a close range with this here. Fusion rifle. Spend all that ammo in one Triss! I got the Ronin Warrior God on my team, bro. Nice, I got this Parado now. I have two more shots of GL. Guess we're moving on the flank. I got the Sparado now. Wow, I got outgunned somehow. I think because it has so much range, at least it feels like it. You really need arrowhead break. Don't make it easier to hit all your shots. Got the Sparado again, but I'm way too weak. Zone C lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Oh, we got a free cleanup. I'm gonna put a nade there. Just to kinda stop a push and then I'm gonna focus on B. No way he spawned there. Yeah, bros. I mean, even at close range, I'm struggling to, like, beat a high-impact pulse rifle. I got this Sparado now. What can stop you if you fight oh, I almost got him, but he's playing cover Nothing. so well. Double down. This is oh, we're slaying with the team shots right now. I definitely think you can get better with the, with the weapon as you practice. Sometimes I feel like I beam with it, and then other times I just don't like have confidence with the rate of fire. It's a power play. Get those zones and I just miss my shots. Like I'm not as accurate as I could be. They're all pushing C, aren't they? Let's go, Driss. Come on, Sir Demetrius. Hit him with the funny memes, bro. Numbers, Guardian. Make him funny, bro. Make him laugh so we can win. Let them come. This is their fate. That's really annoying. Sick, I said B. There's a grenade launcher. Watch out, bro. And a power weapon, I think. Oh, the grenade launcher. What a gunfight. I could have at least got a trade if I hit my shots better at the end. I was expecting a primary duel. Not ready for the jail. A victory well executed. Wow, again. That was nice though. So we got this Parado to proc and like kind of just beam people with it. It felt good at range. I just wish it was more effective against the high impact pulse rifles because you're going to see them all over the place. Like the adaptive and the uh, the new full round burst. They just hit so hard with the flinch. And if I get flinch, I'm just, I'm struggling to keep my shots on point, you know?